In this video, I will briefly explain and, and demonstrate the basic principles of Ojiwaza or uh, response timing, timing of response. Of course, there are many, many variations, but I'll try to make it simple as, as possible. So basically, facing a superior opponent, bigger, stronger, faster, we want to be able to connect, become one with, this is the word kumite, together. So we are able to anticipate early on, influence the opponent, and never run into his superior power. Basically, we have two terms. Jitsu, it's like means complete. The opponent is complete, ready, mentally, physically, ready to go. We don't want to do anything to attack at this point. This will be like suicide, right? He's bigger. Um, and the other term is kyo. Kyo is key, key concept. That means there is some mismatch gap, uh, weakness, um, opportunity that the opponent um, exposes either unintentionally, I mean, he doesn't mean to, but I can sense or identify that. Um, and this is Oshiwaza. I identify this kyo and use it to my advantage in different ways and timing. And then further on, on, on top of that, we have uh, Shikakewaza, that is, not only do I identify the kyo, I proactively create the cue, influence my opponent uh, in a way, so to speak, I pull his strings or make him do what I want. Of course, this is a very high skill, but that's the beauty of the art. So in a way, we can say that Ojiwaza or response is all about identifying kyo, kyo that the opponent exposes reveals and I can identify and then at this usually very short split moment to take advantage to use this short opportunity now we have different timing and we have all those Japanese words for kake no se, sen no se, tai no se, go no se. and of course each is very important and there are many details but in a very simplified way, uh, you can consider those as relative phase or timing versus the opportunity, the cure your opponent exposes. So if I can identify the opportunity or his lack of readiness very early, maybe just mental intention before any physical movement, then I can move in and catch without running into a superior power. And then moving on on the timeline, if I'm a little late, just a little late, so he already initiated something, he's already on his way, there's some energy coming my way, then maybe I don't want to move in, so maybe I want to block. We call this okiwaza, right? Or further on, I'm late, maybe I want to move away, out of his reach, right? In good timing. And this is called amashiwaza. And um, um, gonosen is very important to understand. Maybe easy is using my fingers. So the opponent attacks one technique and then second one. Could be very fast, one, two. Idea is to avoid, block, move away from the first technique, but then come back, counterattack before the second one in the gap, in the kyo, in between. This is gone no sen, in between two techniques. And finally, for this short introduction, I want to make two comments important. One, my, my distance. Timing cannot be discussed or learned or applied separate from distance. So my distance from my opponent will change all the time. And timing and response are what? Time and space, we say, right? So you need to fully appreciate and learn 
uh, why and handling and uh, assessing uh, assessment of, of uh, distance. And the other one is uh, I want to clarify that Ojiwa's response is not taking the role of defense. I'm not um, attacking or defending. I'm <laughs> identifying Kyo and then later on Shikaka was I create Kyo. And this is very important because uh, we say Mushi in my mind should be empty or um, or flowing, flexible, and not set on a predefined role. Okay, now I'm defending, so already I'm passive in some way, and say, hey, that's your turn, now you attack. No. Or the other way, now I'm attacking. So already I'm rigid and locked. So in, when, when I explain more about Shikakawaza setup, then I will explain more about that. So this is a very short introduction on a big subject. There is more to come, so looking forward.